<laughs> Let me jump around a minute. Cause since you from from Africa, you know they thing is about like they don't like sisters and all that kind of stuff. So if your child was to tell you they was gay, would you accept that? Absolutely not. Wholeheartedly. I have no problem answering that question. Okay. That has nothing that's not gonna change the way I love my child, but I'm not gonna let him think that that's okay. I'm not gonna let him think that that's the way it is. Realistically speaking, a lot of this stuff is programmed. So, no, you weren't born like this. No, it wasn't like that. That's not my view on it for my kid. But my kids are also taught to respect everybody. I'm saying, what if you had like a son like Magic Johnson's son like that? I'm not going to have that. I mean, it's possible. You're in Atlanta, right? What do you say? <laughs> not that close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying if you were in Atlanta, like it's it's like you, you it's like people like push it on you and they accept it, like especially like when you go in the city, you be like this nigga sitting up here with lipstick on, with a mustache. Man, me and my kids don't go to the city at night. We learned that real early. Unfortunately, like how can I put it? I think people need to normalize that it's okay for the people who are used to the traditional way keeping things the traditional way. We don't have cable in my county. No, you get Netflix, you get Prime Video, because I'm not going to allow you to see certain things. That's not going to work for me. If it's not on your mind, it's not. I don't mind it's the devil's playground. And all these kids have idle minds. That's why they got to sit in school for eight hours a day. So why am I going to have you come home and put that in your mind for another, what, eight hours while you're up? Okay. Not going to work for my African self. <laughs>